All right, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the world. This is Pastor Dow, and I thought I'd just come on here just for a minute because, again, um, I've had another message sent to me, uh, again, correcting me, or at least allegedly correcting me. Now, let me say this. I do not mind in the least bit um, being corrected. Uh, there's room for improvement for everybody. Um, but what disturbs me more than anything is that people who... who um, fancy themselves to be teachers um, or pastors of the scriptures and yet have no understanding whatsoever at all. Uh, most people who expound on the, the word of the Most High has not ever been called by him whatsoever at all and so therefore they have no authority and they have no right um, to even speak. There used to be a time when people had honor um, and they had integrity but today here in this society right here uh, one person believed that they're uh, opinion is unique and valid as opposed to the next and so I, I get a lot of, of you people out there listening um, to a lot of these other ministries and stuff and then you come to me with questions um, wondering why come you know why you know why they believe that way or why they ask you things that way and as if I'm supposed to answer every single question I, I'm, you have to understand number one it's not my job to answer every single question that somebody asks me uh, I'm responsible to answer every man for the reason of the faith that lies within me. But it disturbs me when I have some of you people out there who are listening to this particular ministry right here and have got a witness in your spirit. Then you continue to go eat off other tables and other plates. And, and, um, and then you get confused because the people um, are teaching you a tradition and a philosophy. Uh, and they're not coming from you, coming to you from the perspective of what this word right here says. That's the only thing I deal with. That's the reason why I got out of organized religion. Um, I mean, I've been in many of them enough to save you a bunch of steps to let you know that that's not the place you need to be. You need to be in the Most High, the Messiah alone, and that's it. And you need to come from His perspective and His perspective alone. So a lot of people know that I advocate uh, people buying silver because gold is just way too expensive. It's entirely uh, way out of reach for a lot of us. And so I've been advocating silver for quite a long time. And so immediately the people would reply back and say, well, you know, uh, they'll read going to Zephaniah chapter 1 and verse 18. Yeah, and, it, and I will read you what it says. And then after that, I'll give you the understanding because that's what the Most High has called me. He's called me to be a pastor. And so I'll give you the understanding. So some of you ministers and teachers that are listening and hinge on every word and watch every video that I make. You can go ahead and give this to your congregation and let them know that this is the truth. Now for the rest of you people that are uh, without pastor, without a shepherd or a leader, uh, you need to also listen so you can get some clarity and, and you won't be confused. Now, the Bible says in Zephaniah 118, and let's read this thing. Now first of all, before I read it, I'm going to let you know what the context of the scripture is. Zephaniah, the whole first chapter, is talking about nothing but the coming of the Most High, or what is written in the King James Version, the coming of the Lord thy God. But this is talking nothing but about the coming of the Most High and what it's going to be like when he comes. Now, with that understanding, let's read verse 18. Neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord's wrath. But the whole land shall be devoured by fire of his jealousy, for he shall make even a speedy riddance of them all that dwell in the land. Now, the key to this and understanding this is, is that this is going to take place in the day of the Lord's wrath. The whole world, um, as we know it, is going to be totally reconstructed. And all those armies that's going to be gathered together in the valley of Jehoshaphat, they're all going to be destroyed in less than one day. It ain't going to take the Most High long at all. He's going to destroy all the armies that have been rose, uh, rose up against him um, by the influence of the anti-Messiah. And um, he's going to destroy every single one of them just by him coming. And, and I mean, this is going to be a horrific sight. But the key to understand this is, is that the gold and silver is going to be a medium of exchange accepted worldwide all the way up until this day. Don't you think that you can run to your refuge of how much riches you have amassed and think that that's going to save you or give you salvation because it's not going to do it. That's, that's what it's about, brothers and sisters. It's not about 
uh, having gold and silver and think it's going to save us. Uh, uh because we're still going to be functioning in a society and in a world until that point. It's, the scriptures letting you clearly know that fiat currency is is not going to be in play here. It's going to be gold and it's going to be silver. Exactly what it says. But the gold and silver is not going to deliver you. So if you're not, if you don't have salvation and you're not keeping the commandments, especially that seven day Sabbath, and you don't have the testimony of Yahshua HaMashiach in your life and you're not being transformed every day, then you're not going to have delivery. You can't pay for this deliverance. You can't pay for this salvation. It's not going to be able to deliver you. That's what it's talking about. It's not talking about don't have no gold or no silver. It, it, that is just, uh, again, that's the influence of someone who has heard somebody else teaching something false. And then you grasp it in your ear and you think that you're hearing it right. And then you go and rehash the same old line. You do more damage to people's faith than you do good. Because it clearly is telling you, and I will read it one more time before I say goodnight. Neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them when, it tells you clearly, in the day of the Lord's wrath. What day is that? Huh? It's only going to happen in one day. That's it. One day. And I can't tell many of you people when that time frame is going to be. I do not know the day nor the hour, but I'll tell you one thing. Um, there's a lot of things that I know according to this word right here that will let me know the time frame and when it's going to happen. That's right. Because in one hour, it ain't going to take much. It ain't going to take much at all for the Most High to take and make speedy riddance of all this. And that's just the truth. Um, but it says, it, it, you know, in the day of the Lord's wrath, and the whole land shall be devoured by fire of his jealousy, for by uh, for for he shall make even a speedy riddance of all them that dwell in the land. He is going to make a speedy riddance. So, until that time, gold and silver is going to be a medium of exchange. It's not going to save no rich folk. It's not going to save any poor folks. But if you want to be able to function and be able to barter and trade, you better get you some silver and stop listening to all these false prophets, these false pastors, these false brethren, these false teachers, and these false so-called apostles and bishops. You better get rid of them. They're going to lead you in destruction. You're not even going to be prepared. Where are the Josephs at of our time? And if you did recognize one, if you did recognize one and see one, who might they be? Who has that kind of spirit in the time we're living in? That's a good question to ask. But if I was you, I wouldn't be eating off all these tables right here, especially people who don't have any understanding whatsoever at all. And that's the truth. The king is coming.